Prince Andrew's notorious claims about being unable to sweat during his 2019 Newsnight interview with Emily Maitlis have left one woman with a serious skin condition infuriated. Amy O'Connell underwent surgery to remove her lymph nodes, hair follicles and sweat glands after being diagnosed with hydrogenitis suppurativa and criticized the royal's audacity as she revealed what it is like to live with her condition. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. The surgery has left Ms. O'Connell unable to sweat from the neck down, meaning she finds hot weather extremely difficult as she can faint in the heat. The Duke of York claimed in 2019 that due to an overdose of adrenaline during his time serving in the Falklands War, he found it almost impossible to perspire. He was responding to allegations from Virginia Jufre that he had sex with her in 2001 when she was 17 and sweated profusely during the encounter. Andrew has vehemently denied all allegations against him. Ms. O'Connell hit back at Andrew's words, saying, Your body has to sweat or you die, we were laughing at the audacity of Prince Andrew. It was so infuriating, it's like saying, my body forgot how to breathe. Sweating is such an issue that I can't be out when it's too hot as my body can't function and I black out. She continued, it's a lifelong journey with no end to this, it's a battle of finding new ways to cope and deal with it. While I was getting used to it there were times when I blacked out in the street, my daughter is a young carer and as a family we've had to figure out ways to deal with this. Ms. O'Connell was first diagnosed in 2009 having suffered symptoms since puberty, with the acne medication Roaccutane failing to treat her illness. Another flare-up followed in 2012 after the birth of her son and her dermatologist suggested that an operation would be necessary, with Ms. O'Connell going under the knife in 2013 to remove the sweat glands, lymph nodes and hair follicles under her left armpit. Don't miss! King Charles and Camilla set for second coronation despite financial controversy, latest, Charlotte bears striking likeness to the late queen with her determined look. Insight, Gate steals the limelight with the king's blessing, an expert claims, expert, further surgery in 2014 and 2017 followed, with Ms. O'Connell now adjusting to life being unable to sweat properly. She said, there's not any rhyme or reason to the flare-ups. My body took a long time to adjust, I'd say I'm still adjusting now. I go from alright to really really hot really fast. It's not actually that rare but when you have them on your boobs, groin and armpits, no one wants to talk about it. My mental health is the main thing, but it's so physically painful because it's in all the places you have high levels of movement, 